Hey everybody, this is Ad Greg Carrasco from the Greg Carrasco Show on AM640. I know that you guys tune in from time to time from 8 to 11 a.m. every Saturday morning, except the first Saturday of every month. Uh, first, I want to thank Genesis Canada for being cool. They are stepping up. And uh, the reason why I want to thank them so profusely is because um, what I want to show you today is quite possibly one of the nicest cars I've ever driven. I know it sounds like a big statement because I've been in the industry for 30 years or so and I've driven a lot of cars. But based on all that I know, performance, value for the money, features, handling, looks, innovation, competition, smart money, this is quite possibly the nicest car. What you see right now is the brand new 2019 Genesis G70. Uh, what's in front of you is the uh, incarnation of the G70 Sport all-wheel drive. Um, that vehicle, as you see it, is $57,000. Now, last time I did a video, we did a 17 or 20 minute video on a Santa Fe. We talked a lot. I'm not gonna bore you with the silly details. I'm gonna just get right down to this. What you see here, it's got a 3.3 engine, twin turbo with 365 horsepower. Let me put it to you this way. If you wanted to get an A4, a BMW 3 Series, a C-Class, or even a Infiniti Q50 with equivalent horsepower, you're gonna have to spend about $20,000 more for vehicles that are not even close to the kind of technology and performance that this car gives you. Just to give you an idea, come with me. The tires alone they use on this car, 19 inch Michelin Hilux. This is the same type of tire that Nissan put on the Nissan GTR. The, I have never seen a vehicle in this price range that will give you the kind of performance and handling that the G70 will give you. Now, the best thing about the Canadian market is two things. They start at $42,000 with a two liter turbo with 265 horsepower that is unbeatable in the marketplace, but also, and only in the Canadian market, you get a stick shift. Now, the stick shift and the base model will come with a sport exhaust. That was one of the only things that I wasn't particularly happy with the car. The, the exhaust system was, didn't have that mm, that a lot of the sports cars will have. But let's face it, it is a sedan. But is it really? You know, have a look around here and show them how beautiful that thing is. Those lines, that grill, the new signature grill for all the Genesis products, the headlights. Um, a lot of people are not a fan of those wheels on this model. But the big Brembo brakes that just stand right out. I think it's the perfect combination. Now, I've never been a big fan of red cars, but this one here is absolutely stunning. There is a built-in spoiler on the trunk lid and wants to stand right behind it. Although the exhaust is not fully separate, you can not see the connection in the back. It's got a really nice, beefy, wide stand. Um, I tried to look for a fault in this car. I honestly did. Because, uh, you know, as a lot of you guys know, I'm not a big car guy. I just look at them as a method of transportation. Now, this here represents everything that we stand for on the radio show. You need to be an egotistical maniac to pay 20, 30, $40,000 more for a vehicle simply because of a badge. If you're gonna do that, this here is the actual true representation that people that value their money more than their car. So look at this. Let me open the door so you can look at the inside. Don't show the back seat because I have stuff in it. The stitching. There are two types of t stitching. One is red, the other one is gray. It's got five drive modes. I spend most of my, I'm not even gonna talk to you about all the different drive modes. It's got, you know, eco, it's got normal, it's got comfort, it's got sport. 
I became in love with the sports mode immediately. You turn it on, the seat just shrinks and it goes right against your body. The suspension tightens up, you can drive it around, you can toss this vehicle as you would toss a real sports car. Very straightforward. It's one of the simplest and more intuitive interiors that I've ever driven. The same uh, telematic interface that we had in, in the entire Genesis lineup, you're gonna find it here. But one of the things that you'll notice right away is that they spare no details. Every single aspect of this car, they spend a lot of time and money making sure that if you got into a BMW or got into a Mercedes and then you went into here, you would actually be impressed. Uh, they have two interior colors in this particular model. One is, um, uh, is the black that you see now with the red stitching and the other one is tan interior that comes with a white steering wheel. I believe it's available in Canada. That looks badass. It's a pretty cool looking steering wheel. I've, I've always liked that. Um, all the inside is made out of this microfiber um, you know, velvet or what would you call this? I don't know. It's just nice. It looks like leather. Uh, whether it is or not is immaterial. Uh, either way, the vehicle is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the, um, the driving mode interface is right here, so you can literally adjust it while you're driving without any issues. The 360 camera is an amazing feature that you have, if you put it here. Let's see if you can find it. There you go. That's your 360 camera. You can see everything there you go especially for tight spots depending on the speed that you're driving it will give it to you whether you're going forward or backwards which is a nice feature to have let me park it here um, you know I can take you for a drive but I mean you're not here the drive is is completely uh, subjective because whatever I feel when I drive it is not going to be you but I strongly strongly encourage you to get down to your local Genesis store and take one of these ones for a drive before you make a luxury car buying decision you will be so impressed with what you get with the Genesis that you may not want to spend the additional money for simply for a different badge now one of the things that Genesis is doing really well this year is um, it's a electronically enhanced engine sound inside the vehicle I know it sounds crazy but if you want to have a little bit more of a sports car driving experience you can literally just turn the engine sound of the vehicle inside louder so you can get a little bit more of that throaty feedback from the uh, from the exhaust you can do that all from the inside here anyways we're gonna go back outside and we are gonna close the remarks on this particular vehicle and um, stay tuned so all I'm saying to you is this if you buy in a car within that segment you really can't make a mistake anymore because the C-Class the 3 Series the A4 the TLX the Q50 and the G70 are all worthy competitors. So you're good, you're good. All I'm saying to you is this, you owe it to yourself. You cannot say that you have done justice to your shopping, to your testing, to just to determine what is the best vehicle in the market until you get to your local Genesis store and drive one of these things. You have to drive it. And only then you can decide. Now, at the end of it all, it comes down to personal choice. I get it. But this one here, in my experience, is probably one of the best car buying choices within that segment. Either way, if you want to hear more of this stuff, tune in to The Greg Carrasco Show on AM640 here in Toronto, or you can find it in iTunes at The Greg Carrasco Show.